right, guys, I uh, got my first target for this morning, and uh, this one was pretty deep, uh, well over eight inches uh, down near the plow line. Uh, been hunting probably about 15, 20 minutes or so, but I got my first target here. And you can see right there, and it looks like we have ourselves a drop through ringer. Yep, sure do. Nice patina on that one. That is cool. And Daniel's uh, working around a little bit now. He's already pulled up a, a brass rivet and some other little knickknacks and stuff. But anyhow, guys, well, that's a good start right there. All righty. Well, we will see you guys at the next hole. All right, guys, got my next target here. Uh, not that deep. Uh, I was actually kind of just chatting a little bit. I could tell it was real shallow. But uh, it is a percussion cap. Too cool. And it's kind of crushed. But uh, I'm only about five feet or so away from where I dug the uh, three ringer. So hopefully there's more stuff hiding in here. But we will take that. And we will see you guys at the next hole. All right, guys. Next signal here. Not that deep. No more. About four inches. I uh, thought it was going to be another percussion cap because it sounded small, but what I have here is a piece of a carved three ringer. Check that out. That is too cool. Look at that. Carved into a point. Maybe there's more pieces of this thing around here somewhere, but that is too cool. There's some soldier sitting here idle time on his hands and they're just playing around and whittling away on a bullet all right guys well let's see if we can't find some more of this thing all right and we'll see you guys in short all righty guys next target here uh probably only about 20 feet away from where i dug the p-cap in the car bullet and the first three ringer yep got another one check this out and this is some nice sandy soil here and these bullets got some great patina to them. Look at that. And it's so nice. Got to be a button hiding up in here. But we'll see what we can do. See if we can't find one here. How about this? This is for Pine Belt. Kill shot. Boom. Alrighty, guys. Let's see you on a little bit. Let's see if we can't get into something else here. Alright, guys. Next signal here. Got another three ringer. You can see it's sitting right there. Check that out. Ooh, and this one is pulled. Look at that. Yep, this one has been pulled from the rifle. Check that out. You can see where it was wormed. So when they got into camp here, they just unloaded their rifles or may have had a misfire. You can actually see the uh, marks on it from the barrel. Right through there. See that? But they wormed that one out, pulled it out of the rifle. Cool. All right, guys. Well, let's see what else we can get. And see y'all at the next hole. So. This is a tiny bullet right here. Check this out, guys. This is going to be a little, looks like probably about a 31 caliber Colt. That is too cool. Nice little bullet there, man. Fantastic patina. That is sweet. Cool little find right there. Alrighty, guys. Well, we're still digging some more. We'll see you guys at the next hole. Alright, guys. Next signal. And I knew it had to happen soon enough. Button. Check that out. Looks like it's going to be an eagle button. Yep plain eagle but it's got the shank on the back of it that's cool yep stand up shank on it cool well knew there had to be one in here that one's gonna be a little delicate looks like the face of it. it's about ready to fall off of it but that is all right we will take that Alrighty, guys well that's cool got a button in here got to be more all righty we will see you guys at the next hole 
Well, hey guys, caught up with Daniel. I'm gonna take a peek at a couple things he's got here. What you got, Bob? Well, I got a nice carved bullet that I found. Oh, that's real cool. Let me take a peek at that. Check that out. That is a really cool carved piece right there. Doing some artwork, nose cast. That's cool. What else you got, buddy? A little flat button I picked up off a ridge and then just rivet. Yeah, that goes to the um, sword gear. One of the big rivets that held all that leather and the straps and stuff for the sword hanger. That is cool, man. That's a chunk of brass right there. Nice flat button. Still got a shank on it. Cool. All right. And then picked up two little wheat pennies up near the house. Oh, okay, cool. Yep. See the one cent on the back of that one. And on the back of that one. Cool. All right, bud. Got some trinkets there, bud. All righty, guys. Well, we're going to get back to digging. Just taking a short break. But uh, we will see you at the next uh, hole. Uh, got another good signal here. And got another bullet. Check that out. Nice drop. Fortunately, some of these got hit by the plows, but a bunch of them haven't. So they're down deep enough to where they haven't been hit over the years. Great patina on these things, man. They are so slick. I actually see the uh, casting mold on the side of it right there. Check that out. Very cool. Alrighty, guys. Well, let's see if we can get some more. We'll see y'all in a few. Alrighty guys, I know y'all probably get tired of it, but got another bullet. Check that out. Nice drop bullet right there, man. Yeah, these things are down about, I don't know, about eight inches, almost down to the uh, bottom of the plow line. Got plenty of moisture in the ground right now. Signals are enhanced, but all of these are down pretty deep, at least the width of the pinpointer. So, but that is cool. Alrighty guys, we'll see you at the next hole. Alrighty guys, got another one. Another three ringer. Now unfortunately this one was not deep, but she got hit by the plow a couple times. But that's alright. We will take that and we will go to the next hole. Alright guys, see you on a few. Another bullet and another pulled one. And you can see where this one got pulled at the top here. Check that out. But that's cool. Alrighty. Well, we'll see y'all for the next hole. Alrighty. Well, we have wrapped up for today. Um, just go over some of the finds that we ended up making today. Um, I think we ended up with uh, 10 bullets. Most of them all 58 caliber. Uh, three ringers. Ended up with the one 31 caliber cold. Which is a real cool find. Uh, Daniel had the nice carved three ringer. Nose cast. And then we had a couple of them that were pulled. Well, they pulled out of the uh, rifle barrel. But what's real cool is I ended up with four of them. I can show you two of them right here. And these are what they call swedge bases. And these bullets were pressed and turned on a lathe. But there's two there. And I got two more right here and these had uh, five spokes and six spokes but these were uh, put on a lathe like I said and pressed and turned at the arsenal um, I had one eagle button which totally just fell apart which was a shame but did get a button out of there uh, a couple of carved pieces the bullets where they were just sitting around in camp carving stuff up uh, the little pea cap and then Daniel had this uh, attachment rivet that went to most of these big ones like this one on uh, leather gear for the swords on the sword hanger and stuff. So, but I don't know, not bad, just for a few hours. So just a little quick video here. And got out for a little bit and made a few finds. But anyhow, guys, we appreciate y'all coming in, checking us out, and we'll get some more videos out soon. But anyhow, thanks again to everybody for watching our videos, and we will see y'all soon.
Thank you, Ben.